You know, as school systems prepare for virtual learning in the fall, so are parents. And it's hitting especially hard for kids with special needs. Their parents are struggling to try to keep them plugged in. Students are struggling to stay focused. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaac spoke with the family in Carroll County about the challenges that their son faces and what they feel needs to be done to help him. The Vascos know that virtual is no longer an option for their middle son, who has autism. And with announcements coming from across the state about reopening plans, they're trying to figure out the best way forward. We certainly want to be safe, but there's got to be a middle ground between being safe and doing what's right for children. It's a problem the Vascos and many other families face. How to help their child with special needs navigate virtual learning during the pandemic. Pete and Megan live in Carroll County with their three kids, who are going into fourth, second grade, and kindergarten. Spring virtual learning was a challenge, especially for middle child Ronnie, who has autism. He would actually take his backpack out of the closet and go hang it on the chair where it's supposed to be because I'm in school. It was obvious he missed that structure that school provided him. It was a big struggle to even get him to come to the computer. He would get very upset. Um, he's never had any sort of aggressive behavior, and he would pinch my arm and squeeze my arm and just get really mad. Since he only spent about a sixth of the time doing online instruction as opposed to in school, he started to regress. Watching him just love school as much as he loves school and watching him take these steps forward and starting to say words and really he, he crushed his IEP last, you know, last year and, and we were so proud of him. So to see this regression and then the ominous future of it, if this keeps going, he's gonna keep regressing and regressing. That's what keeps me up at night. He is absolutely not going to be able to add new skills to his bag for however long he's home. I will consider it a, a success if he doesn't lose too much. And they aren't the only families going through this. There's an increase in challenging behaviors, um, increase in anxiety. There's a lot of confusion around this time. Ariana Esposito is the director of Lifespan Services and supports with Autism Speaks. She says most families have felt the disruption. So they launched an online resource library that includes trainings for parents. What we have also heard is that parents want during this time to, if they are able to, um, to learn more about how they can best support their child. What are additional tips and tricks? But it's not always the solution. I know how to handle his behaviors. I know how to do it. But the problem is he doesn't look at me like a teacher. The Vascos know virtual only learning is not an option for Ronnie come the fall. Ideally, they want him in school if it's safe, but they really just want support. He needs someone in the house that's not his parent, that he looks to as a different role to focus him and therefore give me the opportunity to have some time to work with the other two kids as well. We're doing them a major disservice um, if we don't try to think outside the box and figure out a way to to give these kids some form of routine and give the parents some help as well. Carroll County Public Schools is working on its reopening plan and will present it to the Board of Education next week. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.